So for part two of this question, um, Maddie's comparing the most recent chart, um, which is the one below, to the previous year. So this is now, and this is last year. Compare the attendance for both students, the number, compare the attendance of students for both years shown, and use statistical terms to explain your answer. So they want us to kind of look at these two graphs and make some comparisons, but since they want us to use statistical terms, this is where kind of the excellence and merit comes in, is how, you know, how much evidence can you give to back yourself up. So the first thing that I might um, notice is that both of them are skewed to the left. Both of them have a tail off to the left. You'll notice that here. So you could say both years are skewed left with fewer students um, attending um, a small number of days compared to the higher number of days. Right, so here we've got the tail off to the left, so we say skewed left. Mm, if we look at kind of our peaks, you'll notice this one is peaked between 121 and 140, so we said maybe around 125. And this one here, it's peaked right in there about 140 to 160, so the peak here is actually higher than the peak on this one, so we could say Last year, the mean was approximately 125 days, and this year, the mean is higher, so I need to make sort of some sort of justification about just to not just state what they are, but make that idea that it is higher. So making a comparison is higher at about 145 days. And what does this show? This shows, <coughs> on average, the students have um, higher attendance this year. Um, another way to look at this is that um, last year the, the graph, the students, the attendance seems more spread out than this year. This year it's quite clumped up and, and closer together, so I might also say that. Um, last year's attendance has a wider um, spread of values shown by the um, more spread out range of attendance. compared to this year's, which most values are closer to the peak. And again, you can see that here. We've got a little bit more narrowed up along this peak, and this one's a bit wider, a bit more spread out. Um, one last comparison that we could make is that we found here that less than 100 days was roughly 12.5%, or maybe we'll just say roughly 13, I'll leave it at 12.5, 12 point rounding 6%, if you want to think about that proportion, converting proportion to decimal there. So it might be interesting to note here what's the percentage of students that are less than 100 days in this category. 
And if we kind of average out here, there's just barely one there, maybe. Uh, in this situation, maybe we could say roughly 10 students, maybe 2, maybe 10 again. Um, and we do need to get a total, so that's just under 50, we'll say 49, mm, maybe 220, maybe 420, and here maybe 120. So if we add all these up, um, we can get our average for this year. So if we think about what that is, um, less than 100 days, so that's 1 plus 10 plus 2 plus 10 plus... Um, that's just for under the 100. So that's 23, less than 100. And the total here, if we add that up, so 23 plus... 49 plus 220 plus 420 plus 120. That's going to add up to 832. So less than 100 in proportion is going to be 23 out of 832, and that's roughly 0 0.0276. So one comparison there is that this is approximately um, 3%. So another comment to make here is that last year there was a, there was, I'll just say that there was about 12.5%, um, 12.6%. Of students with attendance less than 100 days, and this year there was much less with about 3% of students attending under 100 days. So I'd say this year's attendance is looking a lot better, maybe. So this year's attendance is better than last year's.